All right, we're back. So today I have a special guest with me, Mr. Mental Muscle himself, Nick Davenport. We just knocked out a podcast on my podcast channel. If you're not subscribed to the podcast channel, make sure you do so, the Rootstrong Podcast. We have episode number 68 coming out, so make sure you check it out. Now we're gonna do a couple of exercises, key exercises that I like to do with dumbbells to increase explosive power. For combat sports, for field sports, any sport that is going to allow you to produce force as fast as possible, to be explosive, to be a highly dynamic athlete. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, so the first exercise that we are going to do, we're going to go from the basic movements and also going to give you two special exercises for advanced athletes. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video so you can get the two exercises for the advanced version. We're going to start off with a snatch, so a dumbbell single arm snatch. What you're going to do is you're going to take a dumbbell. Usually you want to go about 30 to 40 percent of your one rep max. Now, and that's because you're gonna do it in one hand, so you wanna make sure that it's explosive. For guys, I would say you can go anywhere up to 60 pounds to 75 pounds to go on the higher range. And then if you're a little bit more newer to the training, obviously you wanna go lighter so that you can get the form down. So 40, 45 pounds, something like that. So Nick's gonna set up in a shoulder width position. He's got a slight hinge. He's gonna start from the hand position, so that dumbbell is right above his knee. Then from there, he's gonna thrust his hips forward, driving his hips up, squeezing his glutes, and then pulling. So he's gonna shrug, pull that elbow up, and then drop underneath to catch the dumbbell. Here we go. Good. So you're looking at triple extension. As he locks out at the top. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is keeping it simple with another explosive power movement. This one's gonna be bilateral, and you're gonna be working on a jumping pattern. You're gonna be working on vertical force, right? So we want a vertical force displacement. We wanna drive ourselves into the ground, exploding up. Now we're gonna use dumbbells for this because again, we're using dumbbells for all exercises. So with this one, you can go double dumbbells. And like I said before, it depends on your strength level, right? To start out, I would say use roughly around 20 to 25 pounds for males. For females, you can go as little as 10 to 15 pounds in each hand. If you're really stronger in that way and you have more experience in weight training, then you can go a little bit heavier. I would say don't go anywhere higher than 65 pounds in each hand. But if you are heavyweight, you can probably go 70 pounds if you are 200 plus and up, all right? So Nick's gonna grab the dumbbells here in that shorter weight position. And he's gonna start standing up all the way. And what this is gonna do, we're gonna do a counter movement, right? So he's gonna dip down, get that stretch reflex, coming down where the dumbbells meet his knees, and then he's gonna explode up and then go right back down and catch himself off of the jump. All right, now, again, if you look at it, when he goes to jump, he's exploding off the ground, right? He's extending his ankles. He's getting ankle, knee, and hip extension. That's really what you want when you're trying to, again, produce maximal power through the floor. All right, so here's the two advanced exercises. This one is gonna be a coil press variation. I got this from Landmine University, shout outs to them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working through rotation and we're gonna go forward with this. So it's a lunge pattern and then we're gonna press at the end. So there's a lot of moving parts here. That's why we're gonna stick to a lighter dumbbell and then work our way through it. So first one we're gonna do is stagger the feet, right? Ball of the foot on both sides. So I have a ball, ball of the foot, heels off the ground, ball of the foot, heels off the ground. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this shoulder over the knee side, All right? So I'm stacking the knee. This hand, I'm gonna drive down, so I'm coiling this elbow into the hip. As I do that, I'm locking everything down, okay? As I go to step, I'm gonna pull like a clean. I'm gonna pull, grab it with my other hand, and then coil on the other side. So I pull, and then coil. Hold position, elbow up high. From there, I'm gonna step forward, and then press high. So I'm up, press, boom, then back down. Start again, coil, step, Punch. Uh. Uh. 
Okay, so like I said, rotation, we got a forward motion. So as I'm going forward, I'm rotating, using that rotation really good for rotational sports, really good for sprinters, also really good for combat sport athletes, especially striking sports. All right, so then the next one we're gonna do is a lateral force displacement in that frontal plane motion. I'm gonna use a dumbbell single arm again. And what I'm gonna do is same position like I did with the coil press. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically get into this hinge position and I'm gonna lower this back hip here. I'm gonna rotate over this side and close the angle down. From there, I'm gonna push off this leg, drive up and clean the dumbbell up to my shoulder. So in here, I push off, drive this knee up, back down. Shrug and load. When it comes to all of these sets and reps wise, you wanna keep it lower reps. You go fairly mid to high set range. So you're looking at maybe three to five, even upwards to 10 repetitions or 10 sets of three to five repetitions. Wanna make sure that you're fast, you're explosive obviously, and your technique is on point. All right, there you guys have it. A couple of exercises for basic, a couple of exercises for advanced. Let me know if you like this video. I know a couple of you have been asking me about dumbbell exercises for explosive power. so. Here you go. Try it out. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Hit the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and support the channel. Hit the notification if you have subscribed so you know when my videos come out. If you want to learn more of this stuff, you can check out my mentorship program. It's a coaching program. You get a one-time fee and you'll get access for life. So go down below, click that link down there. It definitely is something that all coaches should be a part of. I have over 900 coaches from around the world. We're a growing community. So you can get a call from my team going over all details. If you have any questions, if you're unsure of anything, trust me, you don't wanna miss out. It's not just me, it's a family of coaches helping each other. So I really love this whole thing that's going on with us. You know, the community is growing. Check it out. If you want to check out the gym, if you're in Boca Raton, Florida, South Florida, come check out my gym, Daruz Strong Performance Center. Link is also down below, or you can go to DaruzStrongGym.com. I'll see you again next time. Peace.